February, I went to a musical, a gig, and a classical concert, and I want to talk about how those three made me feel and what I learned. But first, we're going to get ready for that musical together. I'm wearing this cute little top because it's inspired by what some of the characters are wearing, and now I'm gonna go and braid my hair because it's inspired by what the characters look like. <laughs> And I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, so this musical, it is the Three Beiges musical, which is uh, literally the Three Little Piglets or a Three Piglets musical. And it's actually a musical that was um, made 20 years ago. And it's with Kadri, which is a very popular children's girl group. <laughs> in Flanders. They have existed for 25 years or something now, I think. And so when I was a kid, I used to listen to them all the time. And when I was younger, we had the DVD of the original production of the musical. And me and my brothers used to watch it all the time and we could quote everything and sing everything. And now they're performing it again. <laughs> and so when I saw that was happening, I messaged my friends and I was like, do you want to go with me, please? Because we had already uh, a few years back <laughs> organized like a viewing of the DVD and it was a great night. And so I was like, I need to see this live. I am fully into the musical fandom now. Maybe not fully, but I just realized that I love musicals and that they are accessible in Belgium and that I want to go to as many as I can <laughs> and so this is one of the musicals that I really look forward to seeing. I also bought some tickets for Red Star Line which is a huge musical that is happening uh, in March and I went to go and see Les Miserables a few weeks back. I actually saw it twice because I just liked it that much. Um, <laughs> so I was like, yes, all of the musicals, any chance I get, I will go and see a musical. <laughs> um, the story is, you know, the children's story or the fairy tale of the three um, little pigs, the three piglets. Um, but it's actually where the original story left off. So the original story is, of course, that uh, there's three little piglets and the wolf, the big bad wolf, wants to eat them, capture them. But they each build a house, uh, one out of straw, one out of wood and one out of brick. And the wolf, you know, blows away the straw house and the wooden house, but he cannot blow away the brick house. And the musical actually is about what happened to the little pigs <laughs> and um, their children. So the big bad wolf is now a lot older and he has three sons and the pig who lived in the brick house, she has three daughters. And of course, the big bad wolf wants his children, his sons, to kind of follow in his footsteps, footprints, I should say, and uh, capture and, of course, also eat um, the three daughters. But, of course, that is not what happens. And it's actually a really fun, cute children's story, and the music is great. I know it all by heart, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it live. <laughs> the original girl band, Kadri, um, they have all been replaced, so it's like they sing all of the same songs, but of course the members have changed. And now uh, this is the first musical that they're doing with the three new, newest, I should say, members. So I'm curious to find out how they're doing and I'm sure we'll have a great time. And before we go to see the musical, we're also going to um, have some lunch together, me and my friends. So yeah, I wanted to dress up and look nice. <laughs> I'll show you my full outfit in a second, but I also need to go and get my shoes. This is fine, this is okay. <laughs> look at that. 
I forgot to say that this is a children's musical and there will be a lot of little kids <laughs> with their moms and dads and grandparents um, but I'm also sure that about like one quarter or maybe one third of the audience will be people like me who grew up with the musical and want to see it again IRL <laughs> so. not sure how I feel about this combination but it's gonna have to do because I need to leave <laughs> this is the look it's kind of difficult to show you with my coat on <sighs> but I'm so so excited you cannot understand <laughs> As I said, I loved this musical as a child and seeing it in real life 20 years later, it made me so very happy. It was beautiful. It brought back many childhood memories and the fact that I got to share it with some of my favorite people made this day even better. A few days later, my cousins, my husband and I went to a Maisie Peters gig. Maisie, of course, was great, but it was especially wonderful to share this night with my cousin. All of my first concerts were with her, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, Beyonce, Taylor Swift. While singing along loudly with Maisie, with so many other women, I felt connected to each and every one of them, but mostly with my cousin and our younger selves from like basically 10, 15 years ago. Thank you for inviting me along. My husband and I went to a classical concert in Brussels a few days after that and a violin concerto by Korngold with an amazing violinist blew me away. After that, the orchestra played music from the Harry Potter movies. For the third time this month, I was transported to a simpler time when I believed in magic and played out what it would be like if I was a witch at Hogwarts before the author of the books exposed herself as close-minded, intolerant and transphobic. But there was magic this month. When I saw the costumes as they were 20 years ago, when I felt my troubles disappear during There It Goes, and when I heard the closing notes of the concerto. <laughs>